Tonight, the Emirates were trying to do what no AHL team had done since 2015 and just 11 times in league history. That's come back to win a best of five series after trailing two to nothing. On the road, game five, odds stacked against them, but somehow these Emirates found a way. Last time Rochester was in this building, they got shut out, but not tonight. Midway through the first, Tyson Kozak camped out in front for the easy goal. Emmerich's take a quick 1-0 lead. We jump to the second. Good guys up to nothing now. Yuri Kulik, the kid just making them look silly out there. That's 3-0 Emmerich's. Then a minute later, still in the sec second, the captain, Michael Mersch. That makes it 4-1, but the crunch battle back. Hughes will add two goals to make it 4-3. Then less than 30 seconds of play in regulation, Trevor Carrick ties it up, so we need more hockey. And in overtime, the puck bounces around a bit, gets shot out to the point. Lawrence Pilot for the win. Ball game. The Amherst get the dub in OT 5-4. And for more on tonight's thriller, here's A.J. Feldman, who was there to witness it all. After controlling much of the game, leading by two heading into the third period, the Amherst fell flat on their face. They gave up two goals, outshot 20 to two, forcing a decisive overtime. Such an uncharacteristic period by his team led to an uncharacteristic move by their head coach. I went in there immediately, which I don't normally do, and said, take a breath, calm down, we're gonna win this game. Then I came back at the normal time uh, in the middle of the intermission, uh, and, I, and I just reminded them that whatever's happened is, is done. We just got to stay calm, keep our composure, and then get back to our attacking game. Get back on our front foot and get back to playing our, to our identity. Coming back into the room after the third period, you really recognize how much character is in this uh, team right here. And it's just you come in, the first thing everybody's just talking about, okay, just focus on the next play, focus on the next play, focus on our game, focus on our game. And, I think that's what really made, made it that we could jump back to our momentum. There was a large contingent of Amherst fans here tonight. It almost felt like a split house at times, and head coach said that, but was very proud of that. Both his fans for showing up and his team for earning their support. We'll see how many make the trip up to Toronto for game one on Thursday in the North Division Finals. Reporting in Syracuse, A.J. Feldman, News 8.